I am Jonathan Lombardi, an American citizen who is currently the leader of the YouTube channel Hand in Shots Productions, and by extension the YouTube series Trident. That series, operating since June 2022, is dedicated to information about Ukraine and particularly the ongoing war between it and the Russian Federation. We support Ukraine in its fight to defend its sovereignty. So I therefore started up Trident as part of a larger effort to promote the Ukrainian cause. In fact, my informational activities even stretch far beyond YouTube. On Reddit I am also a member of numerous pro-Ukraine subreddits, including several associated with the democracy movements in the Republic of Belarus and the Russian Federation. Meanwhile, from the 20th of July to the 25th of July 2023, Riot hosted r slash place, its annual competition to create artwork on a sort of digital canvas. Of course, since the war in Ukraine is a people's war, fought by both soldiers on the front and citizens at home, some of the artwork was pro-Ukraine. Just look at this beautiful collage. A blue-yellow flag with almost everything that can be considered quintessentially Ukrainian. There's a trident emblem, or trzyp, with the phrase Glory to Ukraine on top, the national seal of the Crimean Tatar people, the emblem of the hero city of Mariupol, a watermelon from Kherson, several landmarks from Kyiv, tanks from Britain and Germany, a warplane from the Netherlands, an M142 HIMARS from the United States, the emblem of the Georgian National Legion, and the white stork, the national bird of Ukraine. Speaking of birds, a blue and yellow dove is even flying towards the 12 stars of the European Union, representing Ukraine's desire to join the European Union one day. I think that may be the most Ukrainian work of online art I have seen yet, so I'd like to thank r slash place Ukraine for this work. While this glorious work was being crafted, another part of the canvas became home to more pro-Ukraine artwork with a particular focus on pro-Ukraine movements in Belarus and Russia. Those who watched those countries closely enough would know that although the Russian government is at war with Ukraine, with the support of the Belarusian authorities, anti-government elements in both Russia and Belarus support Ukraine. In fact, both Belarusian and Russian dissidents have even defected to the National Guard of Ukraine forming several units to fight against the military of the Russian Federation. These distance have even fought together on several occasions. In Bakhmut, for example, the Freedom of Russia Legion posted this picture of their soldiers with a white-blue-white flag posing with fighters from two other countries, Belarusians of the Kastis Kalinowski Regiment and Georgians of an unspecified unit. This photo demonstrates two things that Russian and Belarusian units have in common. Similar flags and even more similar goals. In light of this freeway cooperation between the Ukrainian government and the Russian and Belarusian dissidents, it is inevitable that the latter two would be represented on r slash plays. To that end, Russian dissidents on Reddit almost immediately founded r slash plays free Russia to create anti-Putin, pro-Ukraine, pro-Legion artwork. Therefore, I spent the next few days defending their artwork, which soon evolved to include both the white-blue-white flag of the Russian democracy movement and the white-red-white flag of their Belarusian counterparts. This is the result, an artwork combining various symbols from the Belarusian opposition and multiple anti-government movements in Russia. Here we can see a white blue white flag and a white red white flag, the former with the Russian slogan Svobodu Rossi, Freedom to Russia, written on it, and the latter with the Belarusian slogan Jive Belarus, Long Live Belarus, written on it. In the center are hearts in the white blue white and white red white colors, while on top of it, there's a whole litany of anti-Kremlin imagery. From left to right, the litany includes the logo of former news aggregator T-Journal, which the Kremlin exiled to Reddit last September, the logo of TV Rain, a news channel in exile in the Netherlands, the English language slogan Free Navalny, the green and white flag of Siberian separatism, the cross flag of Ingria and its separatists, and the dove of peace. 
I like this artwork a lot as well. Therefore, I'd like to thank all the various sympathetic Redditors for helping make this picture. During these five days, we were aided by volunteers from four subreddits. r slash place free Russia, created explicitly to make artwork on r slash place. r slash freedom of Russia, the unofficial subreddit of the Freedom of Russia Legion. r slash liberta, a Russian language pro-democracy forum. And r slash tjournal refugees, formed by former users of the tjournal news aggregator. To this Azure Quartet, I give my thanks. I would also like to thank the Italian community on Reddit, who is also involved in defending our flags. We even have an Italian slash Russian heart on the side to represent their protection of our flags. I would also like to honor all those who, during this time, have opposed this invasion. The online activists that have spread awareness about it, the real life activists that have gone out to support the cause, and the actual soldiers that fight for Ukraine. Our slash place is over for now, but my trade-in series will continue until further notice. Until then, I say thanks to both the soldiers at the front and the aforementioned redditors at the rear. If the war is still ongoing when our slash place returns, may we do our utmost to defend the symbols of liberty. Otherwise, may victory come to Ukraine, and if possible, may freedom come to Belarus and Russia. Jive Belarus! Svobodu Rossi, Slava Ukraini. Russia Lucia, no sit nevada. Oh, bella ciao, bella ciao, bella ciao, 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 ya na la siete. We do satriadam, garibaldiski partizan. Is tut fascista, garak zasadi. Oh, bella ciao, bella ciao, bella ciao, 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 i bulbica. Со мной рядом мои друзья из разных стран. Нам будет трудно, я это знаю. О, Белла Чао, Белла Чао, Белла Чао, 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 за свободу родного края мы будем драться до конца. И за свободу родного края мы будем драться до конца.